Hi, and thanks for stopping by. Do you ever wonder how to resolve conflict in your relationship? And is there some secret ingredient that your relationship might be missing? Today, I want to share with you a way to resolve conflict fast, allowing you and your partner to more easily create deep understanding, allowing both of you to feel more in flow, united and passionate about each other. If you believe that passion dies in all relationships over time, then keep watching as this could be the very solution you're looking for. And if you just started dating and maybe you're worrying about who he is, what he's thinking and where he's coming from, well, this new way of thinking is the key to resolving these doubts. What I'm about to share with you is the secret ingredient to having a relationship that can weather any storm and still come out shining. If you're new to this channel, I'm Nadine Peart, a confidence dating and lasting attraction coach for smart, savvy women and the founder of Healthy You, Healthy Love. Before we delve into how you can avoid conflict and build a strong relationship, please comment, like, and share this video with your friends. And if you're new to this channel and haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button below this video and that bell button to get notified of my new videos every week. You see, every couple will face a rough patch occasionally. No matter how in tune or how compatible you are, relationship conflicts are 100% natural. And if you want to fix any relationship problems you might have and build the sexy and healthy relationship you want, it's time to talk about how you manage conflict. Do you tend to get angry and say things you wish you didn't? Do you bite your tongue and brush whatever matters to you under the carpet? Or do you punish by stonewalling, giving the silent treatment and avoiding communication? Whether the way you approach conflict is more like a bull in a china shop or you're as meek as a mouse and you do a good job of crossing your fingers and hoping things will somehow just get better, then stay with me. So what's the secret ingredient to overcoming disappointment, confusion and frustration so that you can have a rocking relationship? It's curiosity. And why is curiosity so darn powerful? Because choosing a path of wonder and understanding rather than judgment and story making is the key to a deeper romantic bonding. So much heartache and disconnect arises when we're reactive, which shows up as being judgmental, ego-driven, fighting for control or shaming and blaming someone else or ourselves. Emotional intimacy is not possible when we're reactive and is often a huge mojo killer. You see, most conflict comes from the stories we make up about why someone did something and what it means about us or them. But the stories we weave in the end are often interpretations of events that may or may not be accurate. This means that so much of what we're thinking and feeling needs to be explored before it's considered as truth and before we point fingers and create unnecessary conflict. This is why in order to cultivate a strong and enduring relationship, it's imperative to be curious, which means to seek to understand another before you make them wrong. And when you seek to understand someone, there is a good chance they will seek to understand you. So to have a healthy relationship, I encourage you to be curious about yourself and curious about your partner, because not only does it create a very different type of energy between two people, People, it allows the space for vulnerability and growth, which opens the doors to proactive communication rather than reactive. You see, without vulnerability, no one can grow. And it's next to impossible to be vulnerable when we're on the attack or feeling attacked in some way. And you don't have to be yelling to be attacking. Stonewalling and the silent treatment is like a silent death and is just as hurtful and crushing to intimacy if not more so. So let's put the magic of curiosity into practice. Imagine you're dating a man and you've made plans to go out to dinner on Thursday night, but he calls at the last minute and says he just can't make it. Something came up at work. Normally this wouldn't be a problem. Plans change from time to time, but lately it's been happening more and more often. How do you feel? Disappointed, 
may be sad. That's all fine, except then you start thinking of the other times when he let you down and suddenly it begins to feel like a pattern. Feeling insecure, your confidence shaken, you start to build a story in your head. Is he seeing someone else at the office? Is he losing interest in you? Instead of staying in a place of curiosity, you let your ego take over. Feelings of rejection start to take hold and your anger rises. You feel awful and to feel better, to feel in control, you decide to give him a piece of your mind and before you know it, you're reacting to your feelings, giving in to your triggers, picking up the phone and letting him know what a terrible, selfish and inconsiderate partner he is and that he must be cheating on you. It's a blame, shame, ego shit show, which is rarely received well. But what if you could avoid conflict or turn this conflict into a powerful opportunity to develop mutual understanding and make the relationship stronger? Let's take a deeper look at what exactly causes this conflict. It's so easy to assume the worst about our partner when we're feeling abandoned, hurt or disappointed. But ask yourself, was he really trying to hurt you? Most likely not. When you feel triggered, it's important to catch the signs that you're about to lose your shiz and stop, stop, stop. Take a breath and choose the secret ingredient, curiosity. And this is the moment you can turn this into an opportunity to build up your relationship, not tear it down. But here's the clincher, you've got to value harmony more than the emotional shit show. You've got to value understanding yourself and your partner better, more so than boosting your never satisfied ego. Of course you can feel vulnerable because of your perception of rejection, but what if you took a different approach instead? This is where curiosity comes in. Remember that each of you have emotional needs, insecurities, fears and vulnerabilities that will need to be explored to allow bonding to take place. So instead of jumping to conclusions as to why he was regularly cancelling on you, sit down with him and be curious by asking him what is going on for him and be ready to share what's going on for you. You are sharing your stories and perspectives of the situation, not what you deem to be the truth. This is the basis of curiosity driven conversations. You find out about him and you share your stories before you decide it's true. Basically, you need to minimize the drama and maximize non-confrontational communication. To help you with this, I have a gift for you today. My free report, Word Poison, reveals 16 words and phrases that you must avoid if you want to avoid emotional triggers, expand understanding, and stay all loved up with your man. You can find the link to the description right below. Now getting back to it, remember neither of you are in the relationship to change each other. You're there to nurture a partnership, which means building a place where you both feel safe to look at and if needed, change aspects of your behavior for the greater good of the relationship. The most beautiful feeling in a relationship is the moment when you begin to feel that you're true partners and allies. You have the same agenda, not competing agendas. When a relationship moves to this deep level of trust, emotional safety is born, which as I promised at the beginning of this video is the fuel for lasting passion and desire. So there you have it, curiosity, the secret ingredient that resolves conflict in a jiffy and brings sexy back into your love life. This is conflict resolution at its best. To help you know exactly how to create sexy loving harmony and how to strengthen a relationship relationship, check out my program Never Lose Him. It includes the techniques, anti-love patterns and the emotional barrier eliminator that will show you how to avoid unhealthy emotional spirals that can quickly add unnecessary stress to your relationship and drive him away. Once again, I'm Nadine Peart and before you go, if you haven't already, please give my channel the thumbs up and don't forget to share your thoughts by commenting below. This community is growing every day and we would love for you to join us. And please subscribe and press that bell button to get notified of my new videos. It's been a great pleasure to have you here with me. I encourage you to choose to show love every day in some special way and I look forward to seeing you at my next video.